The, um, I guess Spark of Being is a good example because there's many different ways that we worked with it. Um, the color sequences for the most part were uh, print, print material, 16 millimeter print material that was given to me from an archive where they had a flood. And, um, and I then went through them all and I took the, the, the little sequences that interested me the most. And, and in that case, I was actually optically printing them myself to create a new negative using a JK optical printer. So a frame would go, it would be registered in front of a lens, we'd take a picture or two, and then it would go on. And this way, I made you know new original color negative. And that was several years ago that I did that work. So that just sat around. And then when I, um, it, it was in a box of, it ultimately became Spark of Being. I think I was calling it Gods of Time at the, in, on the box, but at any rate, um, uh, when it came time to assemble this footage and I realized that it was actually going to be a digital project and not a 16 millimeter project, then I transferred that negative to um, 1080i and um, uh, we started working with that as, um, as an HD image. Now, because of um, not all the imagery came from a film backing. Sometimes we had to uh, download clips or clips were sent to us as, as files. Uh, we ended up using standard definition as the common denominator. So in some cases, uh, even though we had high definition images, they got reduced to what you guys call PAL and what we call NTSC uh, standard def uh, 720 across. Um, and um, so that's how this project was assembled. I mean, that's, uh, let's go back to Spark of Beam because there's many different examples in that. Um, for the most part, you know, I'm showing organic decay um, or decay that's happened in nature in the case of the flood. You know, there was, uh, this, this was a violent, uh, intervention, but it wasn't my intervention, it was a, a natural one. Um, and th this is what interests me, is what, what can happen to film, you know, just uh, as, as it ages, you know. Um, in some cases I can use, a f if we're editing digitally, uh, which we were in this case, you can, of course, bring some of that out, but I'm not, well, but there is one sequence where I'm actually adding decay, and that's the, uh, what we call observations of romantic love and it was a perhaps a first a very tacky soft porn shot of a man and a woman uh, running through a field um, we felt we needed something like this to show um, sort of a, uh, a voyeuristic take on what love was you know and um, uh, I feel in this case I added decay there's a, a filter a layer maybe you can tell from watching it but it, it's not germane to the image, right? And you can tell also that this shot was probably taken in the 70s or something like that and it wouldn't have decayed on that, in that manner on its own. Um, so this was a, a liberty I took um, that sort of bent that, um, but in the same time I felt that um, it was kind of funny and uh, in a way there was its own beauty to it, um, the way it, it took a, what clearly was a um, somewhat obscene image in some ways um, in, in, in its artifice um, and made it something that was um, in some way poetic. You know. I would say in general I don't do that much to the footage, you know, that um, I'm interested in what time has done to the footage and um, um, I'm interested in the footage as a, a ready-made object in a certain way. Um, I guess I just haven't seen much of it that interests me. Um, you know, uh, uh, it seems to be um, 
predictable, you know. So, um, whereas uh, nitrate decay is chaotic and it's given to many different completely uncontrollable circumstances that happened years and years ago. Um, so in this way, they're, they're sort of like treasures, you know, they, uh, um, it could be that they were shot on a cheap film stock because there was a war going on and munitions needed silver, or, you know, the, the silver content is affected or the nitrate content is affected or that they were stored in a warm place or a humid place or, um, you know, there's many different factors. It's sort of like, uh, uh, well, like a bottle of wine or something like that, you know, that it, it, there's, there's a history to each film. Um, video decay that I've seen that's, it's, and, and I have to say that I'm not particularly interested in um, manipulated film decay either. I mean, where, where there is a, a decay that's imposed by the filmmaker or the video maker, um, it can only go in one direction, right? It, it can't come back, you know, or it can't, um, it, it, it can only devolve, you know, so. Um, it, um, so, I don't know, I guess it's the element of chance and play and uh, um, I don't know if it's that, that this could, a, a uniqueness, that this could only happen to this footage. You know. Well, I, I shoot uh, my own footage you know, and um, so Let's see. Recently, uh, I did a piece with Michael Gordon, the same composer of um, Decasia. We did a piece called Every Stop on the F Train, which is uh, just what it sounds like. It's a subway line in New York. Um, and uh, he wrote some music that's sung by a youth chorus. And uh, the lyrics are simply the stops uh, going from Queens into Manhattan and out to Coney Island. Um, there was a piece I did with his wife, Julia Wolf, called Fuel, where we shot, uh, you know, different um, industrial sites, basically. Of, uh, and then I like to include uh, shots of my own, uh, sort of buried in, in, in these uh, found footage pieces. For instance, in Spark of Being, uh, after the, uh, the doctor creates this creature and there's this lightning storm and then there's sort of a destroyed lab and then there's a final shot of somebody, uh, uh, the creature, leaving the premises and uh, he's going down a cobblestone street and against a wall and that's something I shot you know, a few years back. So um, in a lot of films there's something like this, a buried shot of mine where it's not clear that it it's not archival footage, and for me, it doesn't matter. It's just sort of a, 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 a you know, throwaway thing. You know? um, but I, you know, I, I love to shoot, and it's part of um, how I travel and how I walk around. And it's gotten easier now that I can do it with my phone. You know? yeah.